New at 6 tonight, immigration officials have ordered vaccinations for every detainee at a facility out in Aurora. Then after six people came down with the chicken pox, three more, the mumps. Our investigator Rick Salinger toured that facility today. Rick, hundreds of detainees are now quarantined as well, huh? Jim, more than 300 detainees are currently in quarantine, as we saw here today after outbreaks of mumps and the chicken pox. Tri-County Health told us, though, at this point, there is no public health danger. We are invited to take a tour of the facility, which houses up to 1,500 detainees. Our camera was not allowed. Instead, we were provided with these pictures. They do not show the quarantine dormitories and pods where some 357 detainees are now held due to exposure to mumps and chicken pox. Frank Fabricatori, the acting head of immigration and customs enforcement here, says the illnesses are tied to the influx of people coming across from Mexico. Hard to say if they're all coming from the border, but the cases that we have had recently have come directly from the border. We have spoken with family members of detainees worried about the diseases entering this facility run by GEO. He is concerned, especially with people from the border, but he's not sure how they are treating them here or if they're putting them into um, isolation. He says additional medical staff have been added and all personnel are being vaccinated as the facility has greatly expanded. In January, the old ICE detention facility was remodeled and reopened, adding 300 new beds. It allows us the opportunity to take cases from the border and house them here for a short period of time, get those cases through our, our docket, get them uh, in front of an immigration judge, get them their credible fear interview. Congressman Jason Crow has been trying to get inside here. In fact, he tried to join a media tour today, but he was told he's not part of the media. He can come back when he makes an appointment. <laughs> Live in Aurora, Rick Salinger covering Colorado First.